welcome back to another edition of Nonstop Tabletop, where of course, as always, we make sure to do a very heroic, one-handed jazz hand. Today we're going to be playing Marvel United. We are going to be starting, I wish I we remembered to bring the box, because it's going to be Marvel United, Horsemen of the Apocalypse, the yes. expansion. Uh, was it a Kickstarter? Exclusive. I think it was. I think it was, because then uh, the Phoenix 5 was. The Phoenix 5 definitely was Kickstarter exclusive. Whatever. The, the point is... The point is, is we've got the expansion and we're going to play it today. And we're going to be playing it. Uh, so it's, it's actually a two-parter that bridges into each other, which is actually pretty cool. Yes. The first part is against just the horsemen. We're going to spit on them and call them mean names. So if you're excited for that part in particular, make sure to hit the three buttons below. The liking, the commenting, and the subscribing. We always say it. It really does help us a lot. So, you know, consider... Doing that. Do it right now while we're while you get to stare at our faces. Maybe don't stare too long, you'll hurt yourself. Now that you went ahead and pressed all of those buttons, let's go ahead and start the game. I'm of course Wolverine as always, because me and him are the same height. Short kings deserve to stick together. Bam, bam, be ready. Bub. Yeah, pony up. Against the horseman. Buttercup. You know, I, sometimes I wish stuff was a little. Ch oh, I wish you were gonna keep your finger up. What do you want? I want it to stay up there. God damn it! Maybe I want to use it as a goddamn coat rack if I want. What were you gonna say? I forgot what I was gonna say. Yeah, because it was gonna be anything. Oh, well, maybe it was gonna be good. We are back. We have the mic working this time, and we are now ready to start the scenario of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse from the Horsemen of the Apocalypse expansion for Marvel United. Um, this scenario is a little different. We're going to face all four horsemen in this scenario one at a time, but they give us turns at least. Yeah, but so there's no objectives for us, and there's no there's no BAM effect. Um, and each horseman has their own master plan deck. And it's only four cards. One. They're already the, here. They only have like a few cards too. Yeah, so. and we're and since this is gonna be a two player game, we are gonna remove two cards from each of those decks randomly. Um I like this that's part. partly because this mission goes directly into the next mission where you face Apocalypse. Um, we'll do that in a separate video. But, depending on how we do in this one, it will affect how that mission <coughs> is set up. Um, so, since we have no objectives, um, these characters are always in their um, under pressure state. So, they will always activate after two of us go. Um, and, they can't take damage. So, how do we beat them? Well, so... A horseman is defeated if they run out of cards in their master plan deck. Each one's only going to have two for us, so we just have to survive two rounds. Yep. But they can also succeed with their plot. Each one has their plot. The first three's plot is if there are three or more locations that are fully occupied by civilians or criminals, then they will succeed in that plot, and then we move on to the next horseman. Um, if we defeat them, we move on to the next horseman. Death, however, wants to KO two heroes. Um, and that's what their we plot is. We just so happen to be two heroes. Yeah. So, so the... Well, well, you know, there's Wolverine and, there, and then there's Magneto. So If two heroes are KO'd. So if we... I assume it's the same one gets KO'd twice. It counts. But, anyways, as we defeat or they succeed in their plot that will affect the next mission based on how that's set up. Um, so yeah, other than that, it all plays out normally. Um, if we lose, I'm killing you in real that life. That is fine with me. And that's gonna uh -huh. go up on the channel. 
you can make a snuff channel if you want. I don't think YouTube will be appreciative of it, but hey, look, try new things. That's what I always say. Well, Susan just left the CEO, so maybe. <laughs> okay. And yeah, uh, so the characters we're playing, I'm playing Magneto. Kind of neat, right? It's Magneto. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Ben is playing who? Wolverine, because Wolverine. I'm originally, I really like Wolverine, and I could not care less about pretty much any of the other characters, so. All right. Um, and he said he wanted to play Magneto because t it makes sense because it's like Magneto's got to band together with the X-Men to defeat the greater evil. Yep. Don't so, do, don't touch nope, me. You're gonna start. Don't, so don't touch me. I said. We can remove the two cards as we pick, take the decks and put them in front because we, we only use one deck at a time. Um, but so we're gonna start with Pestilence, Pestilence deck. I can't even say it. Choose two cards, Benny boy. All right. Those are the ones that are removed from this deck. So these are the two that will be in the master <coughs> deck. Sure. All right. So basically, it's a game of survival. So okay. our goal is to make sure that they don't uh, overflow these. And oh yeah, there is an overflow effect. Yeah. If the location's overflowed and you're trying to put a new token on it, it just goes to the next location um, clockwise instead. Sure. So we're just spread. Right. They they start right. They go first. So, Pestilence, or Famine, we're starting with Famine. I don't know what I'm saying. This is Famine, this is the Famine deck. Um, we'll go, they will move four times. So here, Boop. the starting locations we roll a die for, that's how we got this. Spreading Destruction, add one civilian to Famine's location for each Spreading Destruction threat card in play and each Spreading Destruct Master Plan card in the storyline. Um, so it's gonna go so there's there's two one spreading, two spreading. So yep. two will be right here. <clears throat> yeah, that's on the timeline. No, including this one. So there's gonna be three. So that one is overflowed. So this will go yep. here. Yep. Hasn't succeeded yet. It needs three. Um, three that are overrun. Just fall. Oh, okay. Um. All right. Yep. We we're just making sure on some things. So she moved here, filled this up with civilians, and this one now has a civilian as well. So it is our turn now. All right. Um. <clears throat> my turn. I can give a. Regardless, is not gonna be that great. Um, I can give you some wilds, maybe. Either that, or you could use the wilds because all I have, I don't want to wait. I don't want to. Hmm, I don't want to use healing factor straight out of the gate right now. We draw at the beginning of our turns, right? Yeah. Um. All right, but we haven't decided who goes first yet, though. Right. I, I could get rid of something like this right now. Um, that might not be bad. I can get rid of one civilian from this location. Because I have to move. Okay, so then I could... I'll go first then. Okay. Alright, so then... So me, I draw. Hmm. Oh, those are both civilians. I can, I can do... I have, I have a double wild, so... Basically... If you give me a move or something, I can get here and take them yeah. off. But I don't. I mean, I have, I have a wild. I just have a wild that I could. It would just be one though. Mm -hmm. Or if I play this, or if I play the two stars, I could just get rid of that now. And the the extra is that'll help me too. You may move to any other location the at the, the end of the turn. So then you could go somewhere else. So I could actually go somewhere else. That's not a bad plan. Okay, so because I can do, the, I can use the stars to save the civilians. Yeah, so I'll save the healing factor for now. I don't really need it at the moment. I'll play this, and then I'll just clear this. All right, take it off the board. There's nothing really. <coughs> Excuse me. There you go. And then at the end of the turn, part of me kind of wants to go there because then I could do my. Uh, actually, no, I will go here. Okay. Because then I have stuff for, you know, my basic Wolverine stuff. So I could either go 
hit him twice in the head. Okay, no. All right. So I will throw down a face down. My double wild. Sorry for the glare. It's a little tough to see. Eh, it's gonna be that. Way. It's gonna be that way, unfortunately. Um, but it's a double wild. So I will use one wild to move to here. So this is what we'll do. So whenever we're gonna play a card, we'll just show you. That's just super quick. We're playing our two uh, heroics right there with Wolverine. And then double wild Magneto, so. Okay, there we go. I get both those actions. <clears throat> so my first wild will move me here. Yep. I'll do the two heroic actions to save these civilians. Great. Um, yeah, it's not here, but they're gonna come back. Yeah. Um, should I move again? I kinda think I will. If yeah, because either that or if you go there, if there's a more better uh, no no. I think I want yeah, here. Just, just go there. Um, so we'll just do it like that and see how it goes. Okay. Um, um so still nothing completely filled. Uh, famine's gonna go. Yes. So this is her last one. So then after this, it will be the next one. Great. She will not move. Horseman calling. Add one civilian to every location with one or more empty slots. So this one will get full, but everything else will stay. But that's a lot of people. Oops. Full. <laughs> I didn't pull enough tokens out of the thing. But we're gonna have to try to survive this. Um, I could go. Yeah, I was and you should probably go first because all the well, stuff I have is only one, like one uh, symbol. You should go. Are you sure? Because I only have. Oh, I didn't even draw. I'm dumb. <clears throat> now I drew. Um, but <sighs> I might do a no symbol thing. Okay. So I don't want to take the two wilds from away from you if you're just gonna have one symbol. Nope, that's fair. Then I probably am now, just to get it out of the way, just do the healing factor, just to play it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and then, would it be a terrible idea to get rid of this now? Cause then it would be, you may draw a card and no. Cause that would stop other potential cards, but I have no idea. Um, this one gives you a punch if you uh, discard a card at the bottom of your deck. And then this one is once the first mission is completed, um, heroes may anytime. That's so not that, gonna happen. That's There's not no even gonna happen complete. here. Uh, Asteroid M is you can kill a henchman or you can kill a, a goon. And then another, uh, another hero in this. So you make someone mission. else do a draw if you want to. Okay. Okay, good to know those. We're not super familiar with the locations, yeah. just as a note. Um, and of course, there's not a ton of civilians because what I could do, you know what, this is what I'll do, I think. Because I have a move, so I could use the wilds, clear two of these, mm -hmm. move, clear two of the, the goons. Uh, you only got fisties? I guess that makes sense. Uh, I can give myself fisties. Well, that's what I was wondering. So if I play this, I could clear these two, move, clear the two goons. Sounds good to me. You sure? Yeah, that's fine with me. Okay. So then I'll my, play. My, my move, my turn just went. I'll put my special wolver, one of my special Wolverine cards. I'm sorry, it's not focusing. Come on, focus. Focus. Well, you get the idea. It's move, and then the, the top two things are only going to be for uh, Wolverine. And we're just going to make a little deck here just to. Yep. To but I still everything. have the two wilds. Yeah. Uh, so. My, my turn was so good that it's actually calling the ambulance for these goons. A ambulance. So I'm going to use the two wilds. To clear these. Yep. And then I guess it doesn't matter, huh? I will move over here and then kill these two with my bear wolverine hands. <clears throat> and oh I didn't drop. That is my turn. Alright. My turn, I'm gonna draw. Sure. Um I'll play genius intellect. Dude, Which you're so smart. Is um, I'll upgrade. This turn I can treat moves as wilds. 
and it gives me a move. So I have two wilds. Um, I could just remove this. That wouldn't be bad. I feel like we're in a good spot maybe. I don't know, it's hard to tell. <clears throat> we'll see. I'll get rid of this. Just because there's also double spreading, dis well it's double of everything. Just to help with the cards. All right, so I'll get rid of those. At the end of my turn, I may discard one card from my hand to the bottom of my deck to gain two fist tokens. I am going to do that with my generic one fist card. And gain two fist tokens. But, Famine is off the board. You can put it right there. Next is War. With his nice Oh, does he go card. in the same spot? I guess so. Um, replace it with the next horseman. Yeah, it's just a good place, so. Uh, All right, so that's one horseman down. Yep, and they failed because she didn't get stupid idiot. Yeah. So take two cards from his deck. These will be his deck. Okay. And it will be. Now he's gonna be stronger, obviously, because they proc off of cards from before. Um, shedding chaos. Add one thug to War's location for each Shedding Chaos threat card in play and each Shredding Chaos Shedding Chaos Master Plan card in the storyline. So it's only this one right now. And he's gonna go here, because he moves four. Yeah, he's gonna move four, so one, two, three, four. Yep. Um, there's two Shedding Chaoses, so it's gonna be three again. Three thugs, so. And then don't we lose then? He wins, yeah. We don't lose, lose. Like, we're not done, but he wins, so he gets off the board. And we'll be stronger in the next one. We will be? He will be. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so, well, he, he can stay on until we draw the next one, I guess. No, he, he should come off, because we'll be, we're going to obviously try to make it so they don't win. Um, Pestilence will be the next one. Obviously, it'll have to be her turn. So, what happens with his card? It's the, it stays in the storyline. Even that that included. Oh, one? this is gone. This is gone. Okay. Because now we're on pestilence. Okay. And what's her goal? Same thing. So we need to clear these, or else she's just gonna win after her master plan. But remove two from the deck. Okay. And this is ready to go. This added precious tokens, by the way. I looked. Okay. Um. Oops. But it is our turn because we just did War's master plan. <clears throat> okay. Wow. So regardless, uh, do you have anything with two? No. Unless I draw something. Uh. Okay. Well, you have the tokens, so I guess I could. The thing that sucks is it's all of that, and I have nothing to get over there. Yeah, I got. I, well, there is a move. Yeah, there's one. I know. And then all I have is once, unless I draw. So yeah. I guess I, it, don't, it won't matter in this instance. It would probably be better if I go first because I don't want to. Yeah, sure. Mess you up potentially, so I'll draw. Okay. Well, I'm glad I did that. So I will play my two wilds. Whoa. 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 So there's two. Uh, so there's a move there. Um. That's bad. That's so bad. Okay, so it's just gonna be probably move twice. One, two, or I could move once and then clear that. Whatever you want. That might not be bad. To do that? Yeah. Yeah, just in case. And then I'll clear that, because it's two wilds. Okay. Uh, that is my turn. All right. That's what was tough is it was all the way over here, and we were both right next to each other. Moon punch. No, that's not going to work. <clears throat> um, all right. This kind of messes... Well, maybe I'll go next after this. Um, so I'm going to do magnetonesis. I can't say it. Magnetonesis, where it gives me no symbols at the bottom here, but it gives me three punches that I can split as I like against... Um, in my location and any adjacent location. So I'm gonna use these two wilds to move twice to get to asteroid M, and then I'll do a punch in each of these locations. Okay, all right. And so see how that goes for us. 
Um, might might not be bad. Yeah, well, we'll see. Okay. Um, so pestilence's turn. Um, so fear rising. Two, three, four. He's uh, he's gonna go here. Okay. Add one crisis token to Pestilence's location for each Fear Rising threat card in play and each Fear Rising master plan card in the storyline, including this one. This is the first one, I believe, uh, and there is this one. One. So it's two crisis tokens, they said? Yeah, right. And they count as basically random. I'll, I'll use these purple ones because we don't have the purple ones. They can be removed with either or. Okay. Uh, punch or a uh, heroic action. <clears throat> All right, that one wasn't too bad. Um, uh, I can go again. All right, because I want to give you at least another symbol as opposed to nothing. Yeah, especially now because I really I got nothing. All right. Um, I could do. We gotta get rid of the uh, shutting chaos a bit too, but that's gonna be a little tough. I will play this, which is a move and a punch. Yep. Um, so I'll move. And I'll boop, boop. punch one of these dudes off. I'll spend a punch token to remove the other one. Just to give some space there. Yeah. Um, but that's all I got. So it's your go. Move and a punch, okay. At least you can move. Yep. <clears throat> okay, okay. Um, all right, well, at least I could I can clear stuff. Move and a punch. So at the very least, I could move here. And thug off at the very least. Yeah, and then move somewhere if I so wish, which I, I'm contemplating going there. And if we can, maybe just get rid of that too. Okay. Because it seems like they all have their own card. Yeah, to meta game it a little bit, or it's not really meta game. We got the knowledge just, right yeah, now. Each one is going to have a card that's. Either the yellow, gray, or or orange, mm -hmm. and it's proccing off of the cards that are on the field and that have already been played. Yep. So okay. So they're just gonna get stronger and stronger. Yep. So I'll have two moves. So it's one. Then I guess I can just move there anyway. Yeah. Or yeah, because I don't need the move. Yes, yeah, so that's what I'll do. Um. <clears throat> Doesn't seem like I need the the healing factor card though. That's the problem. So I won't do that. Just so we both at least always have two symbols. Okay. I'll play my move and uh, heroic action. So I will move to the first one yep, here for my move, and then I'll do a heroic and a punchy doodle mm -hmm. to at least maintain that a little bit more. And then the move. Go somewhere or not go somewhere, then go somewhere completely different. Yeah, exactly. So it's just like, at the end of the day, does it really matter? I'm contemplating just moving here mm -hmm. just in case if this has one. And this has less, so let's, yeah, okay. okay. That's what I'll do. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Alrighty. So, so then, master plan. Not, oh, no, not one not more. Yet. Gonna move two, and it's gonna be spreading destruction. It's gonna be a lot of things. We'll see how it goes. Add one crisis token to Pestilence's location for each spreading destruction. So there's, so there's one, one on the board, but there is a second and each one. each spreading destruction master plan in the storyline. So there's one more in the storyline. So it's going to be three. One, two, three. Only two are filled. Oh, because, okay. Um, All right. And this is a crisis token. So I'll just use <clears throat> the purple skulls again. So two are filled, so they did not succeed because they're not going to be on the board next. Yeah, time. no, that that works. Um, so it is our turn. So now we're going to go into death, and death's villainous plot is different than the other three. Um, he wants two heroes to be KO'd. Um, so that's the only um, way he will win. I don't know what his cards are. Obviously, we haven't looked at them. Um, I usually try not to look, but I don't know why we do that. Because we're losers. Yeah, I feel like that hurts us so but I feel much like whenever we do that. I have a feeling that they're gonna be cards where it's like, punch the guy in the space. Yeah. <laughs> um, so That's where I'm tempted to half healing factor up, just in case, if it's like, keep hitting, because then I could at least 
draw cards. So I'd be like, I'll. The only thing because I only have two cards, so yeah, you can knock me out pretty yeah, easily. Probably. My thing is like, I'll take the hits. Um, All right. So I, I could. I mean, you could go because you'd get the move in the heroic action. I don't really need a move because I'm more than likely just gonna stay here and clear stuff anyway. Okay. And you need to move. Yeah. I guess. Um, either that or it would end my turn there. I could get rid of this, but that would be my turn. Yeah, is there anything on the on the bottom of that? Uh, this uh, would be you may draw the... cards until you have three in your hand. Okay, so, all right, and then you still haven't drawn, so you'd actually go back up to three. Yeah. So just in case if he hits you. Yeah, I think that might be what I do. All right, then do that. Uh, or I'll, I'll go and I'll draw my card. Mm. Okay. I will play this one heroic action card. This is what I really have. Um, no, that's fine, because... I will not use my move, and I'll just do two heroics onto yeah. this master plan. I gave or the... not master plan, but this card. Yep. And then I will end my turn here, and I may draw... And so I have three, so I'll draw one card and have three cards in my hand again. Okay, so then my turn. I'll draw. <clears throat> I will play Healing Factor. It's just one heroic action. Uh, I'm going to get rid of, just in case, I'll get rid of the two civilians. Mm -hmm. Or unless the Crisis Tokens need to go. No, nah, I, I don't know. There's one of each now. Yeah, let's just... Oh, well, he just needs to kill us, huh? Yeah, but I don't know how he's going to do that. Yeah, that's my thought, so I don't know if... You want Maybe, to get rid of that, you can get rid yeah, of that. Yeah, getting rid of this would be the better thing. What does that give you underneath anyways? I forgot what we said. Another hero that's in this or Jason, so that's another hero. Okay. Should have been there, idiot. But I wanted to draw. Yeah, I didn't know I was going to yeah, draw there. Yeah, no. um, yeah cause this is... Screw okay. you. Uh, spreading destruction. It's all the four. Yeah. Yes. So, I'm just so gonna, just gonna just get rid of this. Okay. So, I'm gonna use the two heroic actions that are on the storyline to get rid of that. Alright. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna have to remove two from this deck. Here, I'm gonna, I'll am do and you pick. Alright, so maybe Success, we could. Fail, fail. Yeah, so if it's just war for the next one, that wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, we still face them, but they're weaker. Pick two these two. Go away. Gotta finish the game. Nope, go away. Get out of my apartment. Alright. Death. Move counterclockwise to the next location. Damn it. To the next location with any heroes. That's me. Deal one damage to each hero in death's location for each fear rising threat card in play in each fear rising master plan card in the storyline, including this one. one. So that's gonna be there's, three damage. Two. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, yo, it's color. It's color based, duh. Yeah. Yeah. So three. Three damage. So I go down because I have no cards, or is it because I can't discard? Uh, we're dumb. Be right back. Ow. All right. I just want to be sure that kills or that KOs me. So that KOs me. It goes to the bottom of my deck, but I'm on the ground. Um. All right. So that's his turn. Yep, so it's our turn So again. we just need to survive, so if we you stand up, you'll get three cards. I might just... How many cards it, are in your, look, in your hand? Three. And what does healing factor do again? Is if I had less than three, I healing would go good. back. Three. So, this is the, mo the top most one. Uh... And Fear Rising is... So... He already doesn't have Fear Rising, so it could be the Spreading Chaos. Shedding. Whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, that one. And there's already... So, so we need... To, he could do three damage. So could, whatever he has... He could potentially KO somebody if that's... If it's a that. Shedding Chaos. So can you... He probably can't because there's only one. Yeah, and I don't... Nope. Uh... And all I have are one. Well, just in case. I would have to draw. So, how about I you might be go? Able to get yeah, you go because you're drawing three. I'm drawing four. You're drawing four. Yeah, when I stand yeah, up. Oh, because when you stand up, you draw three. You draw the ones you have. And then, okay. And then you just do your, your turn. So. Yeah, how about you go because you're drawing a bunch of cards. Yeah, we'll see what I can do then. And if I can get. We'll see. So, I'm going to stand up and draw four cards. Yep. All right, all right, all right. All right. 
Alright. Okay, 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 wise guy. Yeah, cause I think it's... It's that. I think if we... If we get over that, we have a shot. Oh, the can... Um... We just, we I will... Put one on it. I... I can only... I can only do two actions. Oh. Uh, rip. Yeah, um, same, same here. I can make you... draw a card... by going there. I can get to there and make you draw a card. Oh uh, yeah, I guess, so then if he hits me, I'd have more cards. Because then I'd have four. Yeah, that's the best I can do. So I'm going to play... Prodigal Intelligence, which is a single wild. But I also can treat all symbols as wild. Oh, wait a minute. Does that count this? That symbol? Ah, uh, ooh. I, I don't know if they consider tokens. We're gonna double check that, because that's an FAQ. Yeah. Be right back. Yeah. Okay, sorry, I was double checking to see if I could spend this token as a wild according to Prodigal Intelligence. I didn't find anything that said I could or couldn't, so I'm gonna assume no. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna picture it too. Is that to it has to be the punch? Yeah. So, so I will. That's okay. Just move twice towards Ben, so then I can give him an extra card. Yeah. And then we can hope for the best. I guess I'll spend the token to remove that guy too. Just yeah. Because yeah, screw that guy. I don't need this token Make anymore. Make you feel good. Makes you um, feel good. And you, another hero, you can draw that card. Wow. Because hopefully he doesn't punch me. That's me. Oh. Okay. Um, uh, so it's my turn. I draw. Can I just not do anything? Well, you can just play it. You have to play a card, but you don't have to go anywhere. Uh, so I've noticed that he's always either moving. I'm going to guess... With all of his cards, I can't look at these because then I I know what they are. Yeah. At that rate, <clears throat> if either he's he, probably gonna he move always moves to four, or if he just goes, I think he's just gonna jump to a hero. So if you leave, he could jump to you. He jump to me. Now it, it depends if it says clockwise or counterclockwise. Well, the the crappy thing is, is it he would do damage to both of us if I stay there. Oh, does it say? It says to each. Yeah, so, so you I'm can move and we'll take the chance. Yeah, I was about to say, I, to I, shouldn't, I should not be in your sim space. Or I could, and I have you draw a card. And then you'd be at four also. That is true. Just in case. That might be the best way to tank it, because yeah, you're just going to punch somebody. Because then I'll have four cards, because you gave me the one also. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's going to be how we do it, I think. Uh, so we'll do this uh, wild here, and then I'm gonna just clear these and save these guys for no apparent raisin. Hey, uh, because I like raisins and, uh, and I can draw a card. Now nah, I'm gonna choose me. You can't, you're not another hero, Ben. I, Come am, on. I am in my head, so yeah, you draw a card. So I have four. Okay, okay. was this a five head move let's, or a say brain move? Let's see. We're gonna find out. Spreading destruction. He moves clockwise to the next location with any heroes. That's us. So it actually would have been you if I. Uh, well, if you went that way. Yeah, he is. It's clockwise. That you, well, I mean, if you jump to here. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If, if you went this way, then it would be me. My head, I was gonna go that way. Yeah, that's fair. I'll be honest. Uh, deal one damage uh, to each with spreading destruction. There isn't any it on the it's board. It's not on the board. But what color is it? One. Gray? It's, it's gray. So one, two. Yep. I think it's gonna be three. So hold on, let me just find them all. Three. This is the last turn for them. So if did we actually big brain that? And we each. Have I think we big brained it and survived with one card in hand. Wow. That was because it's only three. Yep. Uh, so counting the wet. Yeah, three damage. I have one card remaining because I had four. Yep. Yeah, the other two. It's exactly like that. It's yeah. Just, it depends. So we that was a, that was a good shot though with that. No, that was because... If it was the yellow card, how many were uh, in the store line with, with yellow? Including that. So it would have been one, so two, one, two, three. three. So I guess we didn't really need to worry about the yellow one too much. Oh. 
To oh. be fair, we would have seen this. To be fair, you're supposed to have the storyline like spread out, but that's like impossible to have on any table. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how they want that. that to happen. So, so basically, that was the play: was to stack four cards in hand. But there's a the purple one. Do one damage to each hero in death location for each horseman calling master plan card in the storyline, including this one. Oh, okay, so that's only the there's one I think. So that would have been two. Oh yeah, we would have been told. Yeah, yep, there was only one. So. That was with two players. So the purple we're... is like their special card. Yeah. And unfortunately, the famine one is the one that screwed us. Yeah, so so war was able to succeed. Famine, pestilence, and death did not. So when we do the game against Apocalypse, that will affect the way it sets it's set up. Yes. They, these three will be weaker, he will be stronger. Um, as a note, because we didn't really show it, Apocalypse is a anti-hero. So after we play against him, we could play as him if we want. It's true, um, but that was interesting. I thought a little different than the other it was, ones. That's I why I liked it. It was a change of pace. Yeah, I thought that was cool. I think the Sinister Six, Six has something the similar. Synthetic. Yeah, they have something similar. I don't know exactly what. Um, that's great. Yeah, what? something that was, that was cool. I mean, I like like we said. Um, usually, we try to talk a little bit more at the end of these because you know we don't get it. These these are always super short, so it's fine. Um, we didn't really get a chance to see uh, what Apocalypse does because we do that to ourselves on purpose. We do kind of like to say things as a surprise for us. Is it the smartest There's... thing? No. It, it no. It's borderline the dumbest thing. But but we. Uh, I kind of feel bad sometimes gaming the system, so to speak, because like if I, I know that he only has this card in his hand or something like that, or he only is gonna have these kind of cards and what the odds are, yeah. then it feels a little weak. It doesn't feel weak. You still have to know. plan for it. Yeah, I know, but if it's like, um... You still have to prepare. The problem, is, well, the, the thing with that is, is um, so we don't know exactly like, which card it's gonna be. Yeah. So, so that actually is, is better if we actually know what the cards are because then we're still having to prepare for like, oh this is that one this is that one well i was fine with like this because we were like okay we know if he's probably gonna do three damage at most because of what he has in the storyline of what's on the map Just right based on that so this is not gaming it but if i was like if i looked at the card if we looked at the card that we discarded like that's not fair because then it's like okay he has these two cards. Oh no, yeah, yeah. no, I, that and no, 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 that I wasn't gonna. There's do. some games in Arkham mm -hmm. where you can kind of like game it. Was like, oh well, he has to move here, so yeah. therefore we can do this and kind of force him. Yeah, to that's not the do thing. That. But so it's like, stuff well, like it's stuff that's as basic knowledge. So like when we first get the game, we don't have to read all the cards, but it's nice to know at least what they do. Yeah, I don't like opening a new game and then going into the game with a plan. Based on me reading what everything does in the game, no, that's, so that's, that's, that's always a little. Fair. I'd rather have the game presented to me as a surprise the first time. As the first, the first time, and then you know, you, you gain the knowledge after playing right. it. Right. Also, because we have like we don't have a ton of games, as you see, we we don't have a ton of games to show. To show, we yeah. have plenty of games. We, we have a lot of games, but if there's not... a game you want to see, we might have. It. Yeah, I don't please, know. for love of God, tell us. If, us if games there's you any want to game, see, any, any game, game, let us know. We really don't care. Obviously, like, let it be reasonable. It, we're, we we don't have Kingdom Death, so don't do something like Kingdom Death. If you're gonna look up what Kingdom Death is, I'm gonna tell you now, it's like a four hundred dollar game. We're not gonna. Not anytime soon. We're and not gonna uh, do honestly, that right away. Yeah, uh, honestly, that because that's that, not by request. Yeah, that's not by request. That, and that one's it's a lifestyle game. So is I like lifestyle games, but that one's like, dude, you have to know a lot. But <clears throat> no, that's not what we're saying. <laughs> yeah. Um, we have a lot of games, but it's hard for us to be like, oh, we just got this new game. Time to sit here and read every single card, read every single mechanic. We want to know the rules, then we just want to jump in and play. Mm -hmm. Let the surprises come just as much as I. With that being said, thank you all so much for stopping by. I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really, we always say it, it really does help us out a lot. Yes. Um, <clears throat> let us know a game you want to see. Let us know an expansion you'd like us to do. Yes, there are many expansions for United. Different characters, different heroes. If there's any one in particular. And don't be a dickhead and say multiverse because it's not out yet. You know that. So, come on. 
Yeah. Come on. Don't, yeah. Don't say that one. Or, you know, now because I said that, say that one and, and I'd actually get a laugh. Uh, then, I, then I'd know you watched the whole thing. Eh. Uh, as always, make sure to roll your crits. And I promise... Actually, hold on. He stays up. Yeah, he stays up. Yeah, he stays I up. I promise you will never lose. Peace out, guys. We love you all very much. Like Mwah! Goodbye. See ya.